Okay. Jeez, what a mess today. Um. Yeah, I always tell y'all that I've been running my own business for a while. Oh. Believe it or not, I don't give a fuck. But um, started that business when I was about twenty-one, and there's some very valuable lessons that you learn. Um, sometimes very quickly, and sometimes it takes a while. But um, nonetheless, you learn them because there are certain people. Not demo. Hubby, can you not walk in front of the camera while I'm talking? Okay, someone wants to be seen, clearly. Here, look, look, that's you. That's you, look at you, look at you. Look how pretty you are. There you go. Um, <laughs> feeding her narcissism there. Certain people, certain kinds of people always act the same no matter what. And it gets to a point, honestly, after, geez, now it's been over a decade that you can... Identify these people at the drop of a hat. Not necessarily demographically wise. Sometimes demographically wise you can. Um, I'll be bluntly honest. Sometimes you can. Um, but these are the annoying, needy clients. These are the clients that will bug the ever-living shit out of you like you have no other jobs, you have no other clients, and they are the only sole ones that you work for. Um, i.e. they'll call you eight times a day, they'll text you 20, how's it going? Where's it, when's it ready? When's it ready? When's it ready? When, how's it going? When, when are we going to be done? When are we going to be done? Even though you already told them up front, hey, this job's probably going to take four or five days. Well, they're calling you the very next day that they drop it off or you go out and start working on it. Um, which is obviously retarded, you know what I mean? But they think these are, I guess I'd call them narcissistic, but these, these people think they are priority number one and you have nothing else going on in your life other than them. Um... Another way to notice these people is they're the people that, uh, that's assuming you've gotten the job, you've signed off on the job, you've accepted the job already. These are the people that, uh, before you, you go through all that, um, will bug the shit out of you about doing the job, and you can say, yes, I can take the job, um, you know, bring it to me Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever. And then guess who doesn't show up? And then they'll skirt for like two weeks and you'll you'll hit them up periodically and like, yo, know, just checking in on that. You still need it done. No big deal. If you got it done somewhere else, it's okay, just checking in. And they'll like skirt for two, three weeks sometimes, maybe even longer. I've, I've had them do it for, for a couple months before. Um, so they have no problem whatsoever wasting your time. Um, but when it comes to their time, you know, they are priority number one and they, they want to be up your asshole every second of every day about when's it going to be done, how long is it going to take, blah, 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 blah. If you're an entrepreneur and if you, um, do kind of contract jobs like I do, um, you <laughs> will recognize these people very, very quickly, um, now, I've given advice on friendships and family relationships and romantic relationships. But I haven't given much advice on business relationships, even though they're very similar. But on these particular relationships, there is a trick. There's a trick to dealing with these people when they start bugging the ever-living shit out of you. Um, wasting your time, so on and so forth, and you always get that gut feeling like, yeah, they're, they're not serious, or they're not going to pay, or they're just bugging. Stop it! Speaking of bugging the shit out of people, my cats are bugging the shit out of me. Um, if they're bugging the shit out of you, the single solitary trick will shut them up immediately, and I promise you, you may never hear from them again, which, trust me, is okay. 
Sometimes it's okay to fire a client. It's not worth the stress. It's not worth the hassle. This will shut them up quick, fast, and in a hurry because these people that do this stuff always have something in common. Stop! They want stuff for free. Every single time I deal with somebody that wastes my time or bugs the shit out of me, they're worried about stuff financially. Which you think if you want something done quickly, you're willing to pay the uh, you know the cost of that. Um, if I have to cancel all their jobs to, to rush you in, call this an emergency job, then you think you'd be able to pay that. But no, 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 no. They never, never, never can do that. So how do you shut these people up? Overquote them significantly, but not too significantly to be an asshole, but significantly to know that you're like, yeah, they ain't got that kind of money. So let's say it's like a $600 job. You're like, oh yeah, that's going to run about 900 Promise you, they leave you alone instantaneously. They will not be hassling you. They will not be bothering you. They won't be talking about, oh yeah, I'll drop it off Tuesday. We'll get it done Tuesday. All that will go completely out the window. All those like eight calls per day, those like 30 text messages a day, all that's gone. Because they're like, oh shit, reality struck in, I have to spend money. <laughs> it's the best ploy, it's the best thing I've ever figured out. I figured that shit out probably when I was like in my early 20s, 23, 24. I, I was always for the first few years trying to be like extra uh, attentive and nice to people and I just kept getting advantage, taken advantage of and I was like you know what when people are acting like this I'm just gonna overquote them and it is it, it, it's like it literally flips the switch immediately so if you are self-employed and, and you know you, you deal with these situations um, which if you are you should be very aware that you are overquote them because here's the thing, if you overquote them and they go away and you get to spend your time actually making money on profitable deals and non-stressful deals and non-bullshit deals, win. If you overquote them and they end up accepting, win. Because, you know, you're really just surcharging for their bullshit, <laughs> all the crap they put you through. I mean, that's time and money, right? That's opportunity cost. So it's a win. It's a win-win all around. People act like assholes that think they're more important than everybody else or bug the shit out of you. Over quoting. Win win no matter what. And that's my lesson in business for today.